Yo, what's good everybody, Jeremiah Hills, I'm back for another video. I wanted to talk about my PC today. So, I really needed a good PC for video editing and I had one. It was really nice, but over time it really got old and slowed down, so I had to upgrade. So this is the PC, it's by CPU Solutions, but let's look at the specs really quick. And disclaimer, I am not good with specs, I am not a computer geek, I just like a good computer for video editing. And yes, I will be looking at my phone to read these off. So the graphics card that it has is an Nvidia Quadro P2200 with five gigabytes of RAM. So that's pretty good. Also, it does have this 10th gen i9 10850K to 5.2 gigahertz, 10 core, 64 gigabytes of RAM. For storage, it has some pretty good options here. It has the 1000 gigabyte NVMe SSD. And for the bigger, slower hard drive, it has the four terabyte HDD. I don't know a lot about specs, but in my opinion, those are pretty solid, but how does it work in the real world? That's what we're after in this video. So I really just needed a computer for Premiere Pro. That's my main focus. I just needed something that can smoothly edit my videos, which are pretty demanding sometimes, like you might have seen with that B-roll video that I just released. Go check that out. That's a whole B-roll battle. Also, check out Mogul's version of it. He did really good. Also, we're going to see who wins this. So we're going to have a whole like reaction action thing. I haven't even watched his yet. Anyways, back to the topic. I got this thing for Premiere Pro and to start off, it launches really quickly. Like within seconds, you're already editing your video and it's pretty awesome because my other computer got to the point where when it would launch Premiere, it would take like 25 seconds sometimes just to get that thing going. Now this thing takes like four to like six seconds usually, so that is not bad at all. Just in general, editing with this PC has been pretty easy and quick. Effects, transitions, all that, it doesn't really slow it down, even on a longer video. I will admit, a longer video does seem to get a little bit laggy with the mouse, which I don't know why. I don't know if that's some type of Bluetooth issue or what, but that's the only time I notice any lag is a little bit of lag on the mouse, but it's not like horrible. It goes away in a couple minutes, but it just kind of happens and then it goes away. It, nothing has really slowed it down that I've thrown at it. I've thrown all kinds of stuff at it. This B-roll video that I had mentioned, it was edited on there and it was a pretty demanding timeline. Nothing crazy like the big professional people do, but I have a feeling it could handle even more than what I'm capable of throwing at it. So I'm pretty confident in it. Render times are also pretty snappy. I don't have exact measurements on hand for you. Sorry, but I just don't. But they are pretty quick. You know, I haven't really sat there waiting and been like, oh my God, when is it gonna finish? So with this laptop right here, I've had that issue and I really just hate it sometimes when it comes to render time. So for my editing, I haven't had any problems and I'm actually really satisfied. I am happy with what I bought, but I do have a couple cons for you though. Not everything's perfect. Something has to go wrong somewhere. Pretty much with any product that you get. You do have to use a display port. You cannot just plug in an HDMI and run it to your display, at least with this particular model. It even says, do not plug in HDMI here. I even plugged it in there, regardless of what it said to try it. It did not work. It was right. It didn't work. So you will have to use a DP port. I bought this PC not thinking I would need a DP, so I went ahead and plugged it all up, got all hyped up, and I had to wait five more days to get my DP port in. It was supposed to come in in three days and then it got delayed, so I had to wait. I mean, imagine having something so expensive just chilling right there, but you can't even use it because of one cord. I was a little upset about it, but you know, it's fine now, the DP works fine. I got a DP to HDMI because my monitor doesn't even take DP ports. You know, obviously there's really not any difference from what you would get. It's just, it doesn't accept an HDMI for some reason. Okay, and the second thing is I really don't know how to turn off the lights. And most likely that is me being big dumb, but I just haven't figured it out. I'm sure there's a way. If you guys know, comment below. Maybe they don't even turn off. If they don't, it's whatever though. It's not like a huge deal. So there's kind of a pro and a con in this one. The fan is really quiet, which is awesome. So like whenever I'm rendering even, it is never loud enough to disturb me. I've never had this fan do the whole motor jet boat thing like my other Alienware does. It goes, <sighs> that's what it does. I'm not over exaggerating, I swear. But this PC does have a popping issue, I wanna say. It just kinda goes, 
I don't know why it does it. It's probably normal, but it could be a problem with something being loose. I don't know what that would be because I don't build PCs. I don't know how to do that kind of stuff. I'm just not, I mean, I could, but I like, let's just be honest. I'm too lazy to do that. I'm more focused on video. Really all I was after, like I said, was a PC that could edit 4K video every time smoothly. That's what I was after and that's what I got. It was a little pricey at $2,400, but at the same time, thinking about that two years ago, I probably would have paid like 4,000 for that computer for the same thing. I don't even know this brand. I've actually never heard of CPU solutions, but that doesn't really mean anything because I'm not like, like I said, I'm not huge into computers. I just use them as a tool. That's about it. From what I've seen, from what I've used on this computer, it has a couple cons, a couple weird things, but other than that, it has been pretty great. And I'm not looking back and missing any other computer or anything like that. I'm glad I got this new one because it does put in the work. It's quiet and it can edit. Everything I've thrown at it, it's just handled it and made it look easy. So I can't really complain about the PC. It's definitely worth it. I was a little unsure when I bought it, but I was like, you know, I could just return it if something goes wrong, but no, there was no reason to even be unsure as far as I know right now. I've had it for a while and it's done fine. It hasn't slowed down or anything and that 64 gigs of RAM has really come in handy. I used to rock 16 gigabytes of RAM, which is plenty enough, but sometimes if I had Premiere, Lightroom and Audition and Photoshop, all four of them open because that's actually a little bit more common than what you think. Well, it couldn't handle it. It just would freak out and have a whole spaz attack. But now with this computer, it doesn't even notice. Like it doesn't even know that I have all four of them open. I swear I'm not flexing my PC. This is not any type of me being like, look at my PC with 64 gigabytes of RAM and an i9 processor with all kinds of cool stuff. No, I'm just telling you it's a good PC if you want to edit videos or photos or whatever, it's gonna handle it really well if you are in that budget range for going for a really nice PC. I just wanted to future-proof myself a little bit, have it run really well for a while. Hopefully it lasts a long time because I don't really want to get a new one anytime soon. You can check it out, links in the description below. I'm not affiliated, but if you want it, go ahead and pick it up. It's cool, it's a really good computer, and I don't think you're gonna regret it. It might not be the best for gaming because the Quadro P2200 isn't really optimized for that, which is the graphics card. It's not really optimized for gaming. That's more like your GTX, you know, 2080s, stuff like that, maybe even 3080s. Isn't there one of those out now? Stuff like that's gonna be more optimized for gaming, but for creators and, you know, YouTubers, videographers, professionals, whatever, the P2200 seems to be pretty good in a lot of the benchmarking tests that I've seen. So if this is the right computer for you, and if it sounds really good and it sounds on your budget, Go for it, pull the trigger, and I think you'll enjoy it. Anyways, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys really did enjoy this one. If you did, feel free to let me know in the comments section below. You guys have been awesome down there lately. It has been awesome and motivating and just keeps me going. Don't forget to smash the like and subscribe. It really does help out a lot. You guys like in those videos. It just makes the algorithm understand. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the notification because that would be awesome. You guys won't miss the videos. And I'll see you in the next one. Later. <laughs>